What is up, guys? A bit of a viewer request here. These are the most OSCP-like boxes uh, that I would recommend when preparing for this. Now, I have on the screen TJ Knoll's list. I'm going to give you some additional recommendations as well that I think are very good when you're preparing for this certification. So if that sounds interesting, I will see you right after this. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. I had to start off with what is traditionally been, you know, one of the go-to resources as far as a any kind of consensus as to what are the best boxes to prepare for OSCP when it comes to hack the box. Though I will say, I think personally, and I've heard this other people echo this as well, that there's really better options out there nowadays. And I'll get to that in a bit. What they are. Uh, there are better options out there, in my view, to prepare for the OSCP. But if you have the Hack the Box subscription, or if you just like Hack the Box, these are the boxes that uh, that has you know this list has been around for a while actually, and a lot of people have agreed that this is the one of the best lists out there for Hack the Box preparing for OSCP. They break it down by Linux, Windows, and and credit out it goes out to TJ Null here. He's the guy that came up with this list. Uh, I'm not going to take credit for this one. That was him. I'll, I'll provide a link to this uh, in the description of the video if you want to pull it up on your own device. But, uh, you know, you have a number of Linux boxes, Windows boxes, and then even more challenging ones. Now, the cool thing about all these boxes is they're all the retired boxes, so you can look at walkthroughs and write-ups uh, if you get stuck or if you just want to see some different ways to do it. And, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good place to get started and you really can't go wrong with, with this list. And if you notice, my videos, uh, the Hack the Box Quick Guides I've been doing, I've been working through this list. We're actually halfway, almost halfway through the Linux list. And then Windows, uh, we're in the first uh, third of it, maybe. And uh, I haven't tackled, I have tackled some of these challenging boxes on my own, but I haven't really made videos on them. But yeah, here's the list if you want it. Now, what I would say... Uh, is a little bit better of a preparation for OSCP is a newer resource. And I made another video about this, but in case you didn't see that one, I talked about the offensive security proving grounds. So this is a CTF platform created by offensive security, the company behind OSCP. And so, you know, these are all going to be more OSCP like than what you would typically find out there in your CTF boxes. Because one of the gripes that a lot of people have with Hack the Box is, while it's really great and a lot of the technology is newer and there are more current vulnerabilities and everything, uh, some of them tend to be <laughs> more difficult than OSCP in some cases, right? And some of them tend to lean a little bit more on the CTFE side, as we would say in this space. And basically what that means is that the boxes are not very real world uh, in the vulnerabilities you have to find. A lot of them are more like hacker challenge type vulnerabilities. Like, for example, maybe some steganography, right? Like maybe a hidden password in a file. You have to use uh, what's called steganography to extract that hidden message in a file or maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe some, you know, just those type of uh, vulnerabilities, really. Or like maybe in the comments of an HTML page, you have the password to the login portal or something like that. Things that like you wouldn't really ever see them in, in real life or not much, right? But uh, it's more of a hacker challenge type of thing. And uh, not all boxes are like that on Hack the Box. A lot of these aren't really like that. That's why they labeled them OSCP-like. But just know that that is a complaint that people had of using Hack the Box to prepare for OSCP. Uh, so with the Offensive Security Proving Grounds, there's two different uh, categories. There are the play boxes and the practice boxes. Now, Offensive Security... They bought out Volnhub, which if you've been in the space for a while, you might have remembered Volnhub is a platform where you could just download vulnerable VMs, put them on your in your environment, your own lab, right? And go after them CTF style. Now, because offensive security bought them out, they actually have it on their platform. All the play boxes are actually Volnhub boxes. 
So that means uh, they you are able to look up write-ups on them and things like that. And uh, they tend to be easier than the practice boxes. So they're slightly, I would say, I mean, they have different categories, right? There's easy, intermediate, and hard. But most of the boxes in play from what I, the experience that I've gotten so far, which I haven't done too much of it. I've done a little bit though. Uh, I would rate it as slightly easier than uh, your typical OSCP box. Now, when it comes to the practice boxes, those are the next level. So those are around the difficulty of the boxes you'll see on the OSCP. And these are proprietary boxes to OSCP. And I do believe I recognized at least one of the boxes on the practice environment that was an X OSCP box. Like it was actually on the OSCP and they retired it and now they have it on this platform. So that's really cool. If that is, maybe someone can confirm in the comments section. I do believe I saw some boxes like that. Uh, one in particular, I'm not going to name, but if that's the case, then yeah, this is ultra. O I mean, you can't get any more OSCP like than an X OX, uh, OSCP box, I suppose, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be more OSCP like because it's from the same creators. And yeah, these boxes, from what I've experienced, have been a lot less OSCP like. I will, s or I mean, a lot less CTF like to correct myself here, but I will say that, you know, some of the play boxes that are rated as easy, they can be a little bit uh, CTF, like I would say, but not much. I would say altogether, this is a better, it, it aligns better with, uh, with the certification than Hack the Box does, but by no means, I want to stress this, by no means is Hack the Box a bad option to prepare for this exam. And if you're really new to this stuff, start with Try Hack Me. It's a great way to ease your way into it. And particularly for buffer overflow, because I know a lot of you guys are concerned about that. So as a bonus, I really want to throw that out there that do stack buffer overflow good. I know that's a long name. I'll type it here. Do stack buffer overflow good. Uh, that is a, a resource that is really good for buffer overflows, right? And if you don't want to set this up and worry about all this maintenance of setting it up and getting it to work in your environment to practice these Windows buffer overflows, what you can do is uh, you can actually just do the these same challenges on Try Hack Me because in the buffer overflow room in try hack me they basically have the same some of the same challenges from this so that's something to keep in mind as well that, that's the route i went personally i didn't set this up myself i just did it on try hack me and an amazing resource for windows buffer overflow it from my experience it was just like the oscp so that's what i would recommend as a resource for buffer overflow if you had any questions on this, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the like button to help get this message out there. I will see you guys on some of the videos on screen if you want to get started with uh, you know further preparing for the OSCP. Here's what's you, uh, what you need to know for OSCP. So I'll see you guys right over there, and thanks for watching.